Calvary Chapel, French Valley. I want to read to you out of uh, Psalm chapter 92, verse 1, because this is what we need to do today. It says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. And that's what we're going to do. Sing praises to the Lord um, and really lift his name up. Remember that we're praying for a number of different things. And I would ask that you um, remember the people in Ohio. There's a lot going on there. Um, that earthquake victims in Syria and Turkey and even Israel because they had a couple of earthquakes there. Wow. Here. Here's, you, okay. Sorry. Business. Okay. Um, so let's pray and get uh, into our service. Father, as uh, we just bow before you, we're mindful of the fact that you're in control. And as you tell us, Father, throughout your word that we need to give thanks to you, I pray that that would be upon our heart. And no matter what we deal with each and every moment of each and every day, Father, help us to be mindful of the fact that um, we need to praise your name. And as we uh, enter into worship here in a moment, Father, I pray that you would uh, just allow our hearts and our voices to sing praises to you. We do pray for Riley again, Father, that you would continue to heal that young lady. Think of uh, uh, Gary Vickers, that you would just heal him as well. And so, Father, there's so many others that uh, are struggling with uh, needing a touch from you. And I pray that you would um, just touch them with your mighty physician's power, Father. We do pray, Lord, that uh, you would bless Pastor Rick today, that the message that goes out would be powerful and convicting. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, a couple of things going on um, today after service is the uplifting prayer meeting. And so if you uh, uh, can pray or stay and pray with us. And if you have some uh, prayer requests, make sure you, I get those so that we can pray over them as well. And, um, you know, last week was our social Sunday, and that'll be coming up again next month. So uh, be prepared for that. Pastor Rick is going to start a Wednesday night Bible study here. Uh, you can attend it in person or um, by live streaming it. It'll start March the 22nd. Um, it'll be out of Exodus, and so a good chance to um, hear what's going on through Exodus. And so um, start praying about being a part of that. And then a um, couple of other things, March of Remembrance. Remember the Holocaust uh, Memorial and the March of Remembrance to remember the Holocaust is April the 16th. You'll get more information about that. I need some uh, volunteers to help. And so if you're interested in doing that, you can be a part of that. And then I want to encourage you, there's coming up starting on March the 24th, a... Um, something at the Reagan Library called Auschwitz. Not long ago, not far away. It's an exhibit about um, Auschwitz. And I know Deb and I are going to go. Um, and so, you know, you have to get tickets. They think it's going to get sold out. It'll be March 24th through um, August the 12th, I believe. Um, but you need to go and see what took place uh, at the Holocaust because it's truly um, something that is... Um, um, emotional. It's probably a good word to say, to use. And Auschwitz was uh, uh, a terrible place. Remember to pray for a revival in the United States. There's a number of things going on. We're actually, we're going to pray about that at the uplifting prayer meeting today. Um, but pray that God will not only bring revival uh, to college campuses, which some of it has started, but also in our Congress, because um, our government needs that. So pray for our government. Pray for Israel. If you have not heard or understood, Israel is talking about um, Iran's nuclear capability. And there are people believing that um, one day you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to see that Israel has destroyed their nuclear capability. All kinds of things are happening in Israel. Um, if you want more information, the future today will be um, talking a little bit about that next month. So um, with that, let's go to prayer. Encourage you, pray, pray, pray. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Father, we love you. We're thankful that we can call you our Lord and our Savior. We're thankful, Father, that you are in control. 
We pray, Father, that as we lift up our petitions to you, you already know them, but help us to be faithful and obedient to do that, Father. We do pray for our government. Um, Lord, so much needs to happen there. We need repentance, Father, as Pastor Rick taught a couple of Sundays ago. Help our Congress, Father, our elected officials at every level to repent of the evil that is going on within our country and just to see and experience a revival in their souls that they would um, seek after you. Pray for Israel, Father, that you would bless Israel to overflowing with the Holy Spirit, that they would understand that they need their Messiah, uh, Father, and they would come into a knowledge of who Jesus is. Bless Rick again, Father, with a message that will touch our hearts. We love you. We pray, Father, as we worship you, that you would do just a great work in us and through us. In Jesus' name, amen.